ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू सोदिंग हार्बर थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल जर्नी इन टुडेज एपिसोड वी विल डेल्व इन टू वर्सेज नाइन टू ट्वेल्व ऑफ द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ द भगवद गीता लेट्स एक्सप्लोर द प्रोफाउंड मीनिंग्स ऑफ दीज वर्सेज and their relevance to our everyday lives anye ta bahavasura madarthe tyakta divita nana shastra praharana sarve yuddha visharada the translation of this verse is as follows there are many other heroes who are willing to lay down their lives for my sake they are all skilled in warfare armed with various weapons now in this verse duryodhana acknowledges the numerous other warriors who have joined his cause willing to sacrifice their lives for him he emphasizes their expertise in various weapons and their skills in warfare this highlights the importance of recognizing and appreciating the strengths and dedication of those who support us an example from our daily life imagine a family preparing for a wedding now each member of the family from grandparents to children contributes their skills and efforts to ensure that the event is a success some cook some decorate and some manage the guest just like in the battlefield acknowledging and valuing each family member's contribution fosters unity and motivation अपरियाप्तं तदस्माकं whereas the strength of the pandavas protected by bhima is limited in this verse duryodhana expresses his confidence in the strength of his army led by bhishma comparing it to the pandava strength which he believes is limited despite bhima's prowess this reflects the common human tendency to overestimate one's own strengths while underestimating others now an example from our daily life to better understand this words consider a local sports competition one team might be overly confident because they have a star player underestimating the other team's collective effort and strategy Now this can lead to unexpected outcomes. Balanced self-assessment and respect for opponent's strengths are crucial for success. Ayane shucha sarveshu yata bhagam avasthita Bhishma meva bhirakshantu The translation of this verse is as follows. Therefore, all of you must give full support to Bhishma, stationed at your respective strategic points. Now in this verse, Duryodhana instructs his commanders to to fully support Bhishma, 
acknowledging his pivotal role in their strategy. This highlights the importance of leadership and the collective effort required to support key figures. Let's try to understand this with an example from our daily life. Think of a neighborhood cleanup drive. Now the success of the event depends on everyone supporting the lead organizer. By working together and following the organizer's plan, the neighborhood becomes clean and beautiful, showing the power of teamwork and strategic support. The translation of this verse is as follows. Then Bhishma, the grand sire and eldest of the Kurus, blew his conch loudly creating a lion's roar to boost Duryodhana's joy. In this verse, Bhishma, the respected elder, blows his conch loudly, boosting the morale of Duryodhana and his army. The sound of the conch signifies the commencement of battle and is meant to inspire and energize the troops. Let's try to understand it with an example from our daily life. Consider the start of a marathon race. When the signal is given, the runner's morale is boosted and it signals them to start running with full energy and determination. Similarly, Bhishma's conch sound serves to uplift and unify the warriors preparing them for the battle ahead. Thank you for joining us on this spiritual journey with Soothing Harbor. Today, we explored the deeper meanings and significance of verses 9 to 12 of the first chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. We hope these verses and their profound insights have given new direction to your life. In the next episode, we will delve into the upcoming verses and continue to uncover the timeless wisdom of the Bhagavad Gita. Until then, stay tuned and stay peaceful. Hari Om Tat Sat.